Hi, I'm Angela Demmel. I'm the department chair for visual and performing arts, and this is Teacher Features. So I'm excited to take a few minutes to share uh, the Ning Dance Program site. I started using this site about three years ago because Moodle wasn't really serving all of the needs that I had uh, for my separate dance classes in the program overall. What's exciting to me about the Ning is that it really presents itself a little bit like Facebook, which so many students already use, but it's protected in a way that Facebook isn't, so that um, videos and conversations and assignments that are seen on this site can only be seen by people who are invited into groups, um, not by sort of the outside community, which is helpful. So what you're looking at now is the main page. It's pretty easy to maneuver. All of the separate groups, I have groups listed um, by class. Each class has a group, including uh, the dance company and um, some other outside things that we do. This top section here, I usually list things that are coming up, general announcements for students. And then here I have linked a document. So um, last month we had auditions for our honors groups. And instead of students having to come to the classroom to pick up their audition sheets, they can just click on the link and open up the audition sheet document and then download it and print it and fill it out and bring it in, which is nice. Um, below I have a list of dance resources, so all of the students have to go and see outside professional performances. And while I have posters up in the classroom, it's nice for students to be able to do their own searches at home um, on their own time, so they can just click onto these links. Uh, this is Dancers Group, which is a Bay Area um, organization. And then um, kind of look through, find a calendar, and click on and find the performance calendar, and then they'll get a list of a variety of different um, performances that are going on, uh, from ballet to modern dance to jazz dance, and then um, find a link and a way to get to those performances. So those are all conveniently located on the, on the main page, and students don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, I forgot to look in the classroom for that, for that performance that's coming up. Below that I have a studio calendar. Uh, this is a listing of all of the rehearsals that are happening in the dance studio outside of class time. Um, it's Google Calendar, so students can actually link this to their Google email if they wish. Um, and again, it's not just something that's at school. They can check out, oh my gosh, I'm in Eleanor's dance. It's rehearsing at 3 o'clock, and it's all there for them. And they can look by the month, by the week, however it's convenient for them. And below um, this, we just have other discussion forums and, and um, little news and dance things that can be up on the main page. Students can also uh, listen to music that we're working on in class. I will link um, MP3 files to this and then they can practice at home uh, with whatever music we're using at the time. Uh, they can send me messages and send each other messages, which is exciting. Uh, and the messages actually are linked to the Moreau email, so they get um, they get a notification via the Moreau email as well in case they don't check this site as often for their messages. So the exciting thing that the Ning offers that Moodle doesn't offer, um, and one of the really big selling points for me to use this program, is that students are able to upload videos. A few years ago we got a grant for flip videos, and we have six of them in the dance program. And students meet weekly for rehearsals and have to record their rehearsals for archival purposes um, and so that I can look at them and help them in their process. So students take the time, record their uh, rehearsals on the flip. They can dump it right onto their laptop and upload it onto this site. Uh, this is Brittany Andre's last video showing. And it's a great way for them to be able to revisit their work. They can look and critically analyze their own work and their own performance. Their cast members have access to these videos, so they can ask them to rehearse at home or, hey, check out this movement. I'd like for you to learn this and come to rehearsal prepared. They also write 
what I call methods, how they chose to make this particular section, uh, the choices they made, why they did it. It's kind of like a roadmap for choreography. And then at the end of the semester, when this methods needs to be compiled, all of the work is already done. They merely have to copy it onto a Word program and then, um, and then it's all set for them. So it's a great way to have a portfolio of their work um, that is really easily accessible at all times. I mentioned before that each group has, um, each class has its own group, so I'm going to follow us through to Honors Dance. They're the most active on this site. But each class is similar. You have your list of members, and then every class has an additional Google Calendar that has their homework assignments and all of their due dates listed on this calendar. Um, for honors and for dance ensemble all the way through the end of the year. And then when they click on a particular assignment, if they only click one time, they'll get further description of exactly what the assignment, um, what the requirements of the assignment uh, entail. Another great thing about the Ning is the discussion forum. Most of the written work that students turn in is actually submitted through the Ning into the discussion forum. And what's really exciting about that is that they can read each other's work. So for example, this is an assignment for an outside dance concert. All of the instructions are right here at the top, and then students can write out their essays in Word and submit it directly onto the Ning. And then they can read each other's essays and comment, offer each other peer feedback or peer review, which is a really great way to strike up conversation for students who have maybe gone to see the same concert and talk about, oh, I saw the same thing, I saw something different, I agree or disagree with your analysis of this particular work. So it really gets students to be thinking on the critical level um, in as much of an objective uh, manner as they, as they can. Also, in the discussion forum are sections where students can load in all of their curricular documents. So for example, their course description guide, their performance agreement, their dress code, and so on and so forth. And again, it's always there. So they can look at it any time they want. They can't have lost it. Parents can see it at any time as well. I mentioned before that students do critical analysis in the class, and it's difficult to watch a lot of dance and be dancing and choreographing. And something that's really exciting for me that I, that I also do in the discussion forum is link YouTube videos <clears throat> that students can then watch right on right on the Ning, just click on it and watch it and I'll ask them something specific about staging or lighting or what have you. And the sound is there, it gives them that access. I keep the videos pretty brief, five to ten minutes at most, and then they can comment on what they've seen. This helps them learn how to critically analyze, how to choreograph, it teaches them about performance quality, costuming, lighting, and a variety of things that we just couldn't do without this option. One of, um, I mentioned before that there's a great draw for the students in terms of um, kind of that it looks a little bit more like Facebook, this acts more like Facebook. So for example, students can design their own page to fit their needs and their particular personality. So they get to take screenshots of themselves, they can give each other gifts, and they can make their page look exactly the way they want it to look, which is um, exciting for them. So overall, the Ning has really helped me as an instructor and the students who deal with written homework assignment and production calendars and all of those other things that go along with being in a performance class become more organized. Um, it's a central location. Everything is, is all in one place and easily accessible. It truly is the place for all that is Moreau dance.